What is going on everyone? This is not going to be a vlog at all. This is all going to be focused on a workout. Now you might have seen a clip on my Instagram or Facebook about this workout. Uh, but I wanted to do the full workout because it is a very good workout. It's a bunch of high volume and I filmed this maybe a couple of months ago with my good friend Stuart, but I was looking over some footage and found this and a back workout that I'll be posting later on. But I wanted to show you guys because this workout really gives you an idea of how hard I work out. A lot of the times when I film, I feel like y'all don't get the whole uh, experience and you don't really don't see how hard I work out because either the person filming me is filming like the first or second set, so you're not seeing the drop sets, you're not seeing the super sets, or either the person recording is either spotting me, and that is why you're kind of not getting the full workout. But in this workout, we filmed a lot of the drop sets and super sets, so you're gonna see the full workout here. Uh, this was a very high volume workout, so if you're looking for a great chest workout, this is it. Uh, we started off with an incline machine press. It was a hammer strength machine. A lot of the times recently I've been uh, starting off with dumbbell pressing because I've had some shoulder issues on my left shoulder and dumbbells uh, don't seem to hurt it as much as barbell uh, because I guess you're not in that fixed range of motion because dumbbells you know you can kind of uh, adjust wherever it hurts you can kind of move the dumbbells around so I've been doing a lot of dumbbell work but at this gym uh, that I was working out at the gym only goes to 120 pound dumbbells and for me uh, doing incline press, 120 pound dumbbells, I can easily do for over you know, 12 to 15 reps. And doing the very first exercise, I wanted to go as heavy as possible, so that's why I started off on the incline uh, press. Uh, we did five sets of around uh, eight to 10 reps, and on the last set, the fifth set, we did a double drop set. Uh, so we just went as heavy as we could go. Of course, we warmed up beforehand. We didn't jump straight into the weight because uh, if you jump straight into your working weight, you will eventually hurt yourself. So you have to warm up and then uh, get into your working sets. And our working sets were, like I said, five sets of eight to 10. After that, went on to the incline dumbbell press. This is where the extreme drop set that you saw, you might have seen on Instagram. Uh, this is where that's at. So this is after we already did five sets of heavy incline work. We went on to more incline, but on to dumbbells. So as you can see, I'm working with 120 pounds. Uh, we did five sets total of this incline press, but we did three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then on the last two sets, we did that triple drop set. So not only did we did one triple drop set, but we did two, so that was insane. After doing all that, we're pushing each other to the max. We are not leaving anything in the tank every single drop set. So a lot of the times I see people uh, you know, go through the motions and only get like, let's say they go for 10 reps and they quit at those 10 reps, but really I look at them, they could easily do 12 to 15. I never do that. Uh, I normally go straight to failure, so I'm going to be pushing every single set to failure. And that's what we did throughout this workout. After the incline dumbbell press, we went on to flat bench. Now, as you can see, we're using chains on this bench press. A little bit different. The reason why uh, I'm using chains is because this gym has it. The other gyms at Gold's Gym in Austin does not have chains. I like working with them because when you go down using chains, it gets lighter at the bottom. When you press up, it gets heavier. It's kind of like working bands. Uh, so it's you know a little bit different. 
uh, and it's good to change things up every once in a while. So this flat bench press was about 185 pounds with the chains. The chains on each side was about 25 and we have 45 on there. But what we did was 100 reps. So I would go hit failure, then I would immediately get up and let Stuart do as many reps as he could do, and then I would lay back down, do as many reps as I could do, and just switch out until we got to 100 reps. So sometimes we'd rest maybe 30 seconds, and then sometimes we'd rest only around 15 seconds because it depends how many reps that person gets. It was pretty awesome. At that point, we were pretty much dying. Very intense, a lot of reps. After that, we went on to a machine single arm press. So what we're doing here, as you can see, we're pressing up, but we're just doing one arm. The other arm is contracted at the top, and the other arm does 10 reps, and then let's say the left arm does 10 reps. And then I tried to do as many partials at the bottom as possible. This was superset with machine flies. We did both of these four sets of 10 reps on uh, the pressing and on the flies. It's not over guys. I know a lot of y'all are like, okay, that's the workout, it's over. No, not even close. We have another three exercises. So after the flies and the press, we went on to a Smith Machine close grip press. I've been seeing a lot of people do this exercise. Guys, I don't really like it. I don't know if it's just to show people on Instagram and stuff what they're doing, but I honestly did not feel it that great. Uh, it was hitting a lot more tricep than it was my chest. And at the same time, this would be impossible without a spotter because you cannot, with the Smith machine, turn that thing. So once you're locked in with that close grip or that V-bar, you can't lock it back. So if you go to complete failure at the bottom, you're stuck. You're not gonna unlock that thing. So I really did not like it. I think we ended up doing just like three sets of like 10 to 12 reps. So nothing crazy. We just did it just because we wanted to you know, see how it felt because like I said, I've been seeing it a lot. After that, we went on to cable flies high to low. Uh, we did that four sets of 12 reps. Nothing special there. <sighs> Now, onto the last exercise. We have kettlebells and we're doing push-ups on a kettlebell. The reason why I'm doing it on a kettlebell, you can use dumbbells, is because I wanted to get that full stretch at the bottom. If you do this on the floor, uh, you're not gonna be able to stretch out your chest uh, that well. So you need to be a little bit inclined and you need to have something that you're able to go down as far back as you can without your chest hitting the floor. Uh, so we did uh, push-ups max. So we did as many push-ups as we could do. Uh, I think it was maybe around like 20 reps, but this is the hard part. After you get done doing as many reps as you could do, we would hold the stretch at the bottom for one minute. Yeah, one minute. That was extremely tough. So we'd go for as many reps as we could do and then immediately holding the stretch at, at the bottom for one minute. And we did three rounds of that. And that was the end of the workout, guys. It was extremely hard. I still remember this workout. And like I said, this was a couple of months ago that we actually filmed this thing. Uh, so if you want an extremely tough workout, give this one a try. But that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see you all next time. All right, guys. Peace.